so that's all about uh, implementation projects. So next topic will take uh, accounting calendar. Uh, so as part of uh, initial setups, right? So we need to uh, configure uh, uh, accounting calendar and currencies geographies. So these three are uh, are common across Fusion Cloud application. So the same accounting calendar might be uh, used for ERP financials reports or ERP uh, uh, or, or HCM. Basically, it is across module or across enterprise and cur currencies. Uh, so what are the currencies that you are going to uh, use for this application? So it's not only specific to CX sales, but also it applies to uh, financials or uh, HCM, et cetera. So that's why, uh, so we need to make sure uh, this is common across the modules or across the businesses. And then geographies. Geographies are uh, the address data, right? So, uh, so what, uh, in which countries you are doing your business and uh, what is the address structure uh, in your countries, okay? Uh, for each country, there will be different, uh, there might be different uh, structure, uh, format, etc. So we need to define that. Uh, so for address, Configuration will take uh, another session. Uh, so coming to account accounting calendar, uh, every company or every enterprise will have their own uh, accounting calendar or accounting periods, right? So, so it can be, um, their choice, like uh, each e year will be break down into quarters, right? And uh, that quarter, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So we have 12 months and every three months will be a quarter, right? Uh, some companies will follow January to December accounting calendar period, accounting calendar, and some companies may follow April to March. Some companies will follow June to uh, May. So it depends. It depends on the company and their uh, 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 their uh, need, right? So based on that, we need to create accounting calendar. This uh, accounting calendar will be used uh, for territories and forecasting. So if you don't understand territory management forecasting, uh, so we will cover uh, uh, in the upcoming sessions. So territory management on a high level is to uh, assign uh, some uh, data access, right? Data, ac data access to, uh, to your sales team and forecasting is uh, uh, to estimate uh, or to forecast the revenue. So in, 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 in coming next uh, uh, quarter, so how much revenue are we going to expect, right? So that is, uh, that is forecasting. Uh, make sure uh, it is set up correctly while creating accounting calendar itself. Because once we create an accounting calendar, we can't change, we can't modify it. And you also make sure the start date of accounting calendar will be your company uh, before your company start date. So that 
whatever the transactional data that you are going to upload or import right uh, from your uh, uh, other systems to Oracle Fusion Cloud systems or uh, uh, basically the historical data. Uh, so then only you 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 can upload you you can upload only uh the only after the start date of accounting calendar. Okay. So um, it is also better to add uh, like to set the start date one or two years before uh, before your company start date. Then uh, so once you uh, set up this uh, uh, accounting calendar, you need to run a refresh process. Uh, schedule process uh, to refresh uh, per uh, analytics and reports. Uh, I'll show this step uh, maybe in schedule processes uh, topic. And to set up uh, accounting calendars, we need to go to a task called uh, managing manage accounting calendars. And uh, to set uh, some profile options related to calendar. So we need to go to manage calendar profile options. Uh, let me show you in the UI how it looks. So now we are in sales and then we are in uh, required tasks, right? So in required tasks it's itself, we have this uh, manage accounting calendars. Click on that. You can see uh, again as a initial uh, setup or uh, uh, fresh instance, you will not have all of these accounting calendars. You can uh, create a new one. So this is the accounting calendar creation page. So where you will provide the accounting calendar name, the start date and period frequency, whether it's monthly, quarterly, or weekly, uh, yearly, and then uh, separator. So name separator, suppose um, uh, I'll show existing, any existing calendar. Okay, so suppose uh, this is our calendar, right? So we will give the name and then description, start date, period equal to, period will be monthly and adjusting period. Uh, so this again depends on uh, the, the need. So whether it is uh, once at a year end or once at a year start, uh, so we need to select. So this is also uh, not mandatory, but, uh, and we won't be using this feature in CX sales, but it might be useful in financials. Then format. Uh, so the period, right? Uh, the period format, this will define. So if you select uh, MM, YY and calendar year, so then you will get this kind of, th this format, Jan and uh the the period sub, uh, the separator right um and then year so okay let me create a new calendar itself okay i'll give start date um 
something like this. Okay, then I'll choose monthly. Uh, I don't need budgetary control. Once at a year end. And uh, separator will be hyphen. And uh, my format will be MM YY calendar year. So this will be like this. Now if I click next, so it will generate uh, the periods. Okay. And uh, since we selected uh, adjusting frequency at uh, year end, it uh, uh, other than uh, other than this, right? So uh, uh, so usually uh, it will be 12, right? 12 months. So it created one more uh, period with the last date. So And uh, here, if you want to adjust, right? Let me go back. So whatever uh, month we are going to select here. So from, from there, it will start. So earlier I selected March, March 1st, right? So it, it selected March as a month. So now we will select Jan as a year start. So the first period will be Jan 90. So now click next. So now the periods will start from Jan. So if you want to modify, uh, you can modify something, but uh, ideally not needed because it's auto-generated. So save and close. So now accounting calendar is created. So we might create multiple calendars, but uh, at a time, so only one calendar will be in use. So uh now we created we have multiple calendars now we need to choose which calendar we will be using right we are going to use so for that uh, you go to the next task that is manage calendar profile options so we define the calendars here and we will specify which calendar we will be using in this profile option so he here we have uh, accounting calendar default comments here so by currently we have vision calendar so just now we created tata calendar so we can select this so once we created this so this this uh, like this calendar accounting calendar will be used so i'll be changing back to vision Mm, might be some other people are using so to not disturb i'll i'll choose the vision calendar itself so once you uh, uh done these changes you just need to run this process uh, to uh, make periods or uh, whatever this changes right available to reports so we just quickly show you. So basically the schedule processes we will do here. So it's a backend jobs. So where we will just submit a process, it will run and uh, it will process in the background and it will uh, whatever sync that's need to be happened. So it will do that. That's here.
just make sure the name is correct and you will just run this process submit so once it's successful uh, so the sync will happen and uh, you can use as usual so next uh, is currencies as we know uh, currencies right so if you are uh, if your company is doing the business in multiple countries then um, you will need to perform the transactions in, in multiple currencies right as per the uh, the currency accept acceptance so we need to uh, choose uh, first we need to define in which uh, countries we are doing business and what is the currencies 